Hey guys, it's Tyler here, and welcome to my Pink Tape Plus Flying High review video. If you enjoy this, please let me know in the comments below, and subscribe so you can get notified when I do my Utopia review, which will hopefully be soon. Now let's get into it. After a three year hiatus, Little Uzi comes back with an album that has great ideas, but it just seems to fall flat due to its length. Pink Tape is a pretty interesting album production-wise, featuring sounds we've never heard before in the hip-hop scene, which have this rock, but sorta, but not really psychedelic production? At least that's just how I hear it. The lyrics are, well, oozy lyrics, but you're never gonna get songs that are super in-depth like a Kendrick track, but they work well. The features definitely were good, but I wish there was just a few more to fill in the space for this huge 26-song album. And... Without that, let's go over some of the pros of this album. As mentioned earlier, this album has some great production that we have never heard before in the hip-hop space that I think really sounds nice aside from Fire Alarm, but is never too over the top in production aside from a couple tracks which really take inspiration from rock and you can tell Uzi's main focus was more on the rock production style. Also taking the fact that you can tell his ideas really shine on this album but feel a bit all over the place, which I will get to later. Another pro is none of the songs sound the same. Each track also has its own personality to it, which while some tracks do sound a tad similar, they aren't too much that I mean listening to this album would sure after a while. Now I'm going to talk about this album's biggest downfall, its length. The length of 26 tracks is way too much, and while I liked quite a few tracks on here, I feel its length is its biggest downfall. Something like 18 to 22 tracks is fine if you're telling a narrative like Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, but when it's an album like this where there isn't much of a story, it starts to feel stale after a while, and you end up not wanting to listen to the album from start to finish, and more or less just cherry pick songs instead. If this album had 16 tracks on it, I feel more people would listen front of back, but also his ideas wouldn't be all over the place and more focused. And all in all, I think in his next album he should focus in on less ideas and shorten the album to make something even better than Pink Tape. And in conclusion, Pink Tape has strong ideas with great production, but those same strong ideas tend to fall flat due to the album length and not honing in on said ideas. I give Pink Tape a 7 out of 10. Now on to the next one, which is a 4 track EP by The Alchemist called Flying High. The production is great, which so far The Alchemist has been doing an incredible job with, but I was a bit disappointed with the first track, especially since both features are incredible artists, but they both fell flat on the song, and the production just couldn't make up for it. However, the rest of the EP I thought was great, and all the featured artists did a great job and complimented the beat well, and this is especially true on the last track, Midnight Oil. And if I'd have to give this EP a rating, I'd give it a good 8 out of 10. It's a great EP, and I would definitely be revisiting it in the future, and I think you should listen to it if you have some spare time. Thank you guys for watching, and if you want more of this kind of review style video, let me know in the comments.